Good morning, welcome to day three of Vlogmas. Uh, so it's Saturday morning now and it's about 9.30 in the morning and I'm popping on here now before we get in the car and head off on our weekend away because if you saw my day two vlog of us, I mentioned this weekend we're off to Bournemouth for the weekend, which we're all really looking forward to and we're driving down there today and we're going to go and visit my husband's brother and his wife which would be really nice because we haven't seen them for absolutely ages and they've recently relocated from Manchester down to Bournemouth which is a lot closer to us um, which is great so I think it's about an hour and 40 minutes in the car for us so not too far but we're planning on making a weekend of it we're staying overnight in a premier inn <laughs> which my children are really excited about because they love a premier inn breakfast but we've never stayed overnight in one we've only ever been for breakfast in the premier inn in our local town so they're really looking forward to that and it means It'll give us a chance to really enjoy Bournemouth. We've got a few different things planned and I'll try and take you along. And it's by the sea. Um, if you don't know where Bournemouth is, it's on the south coast. So hopefully you'll be able to pop down to the sea. I can imagine it's going to be quite chilly because it's quite a grey, cold, windy day out there. But it'll be really nice to go and see the sea um, in wintertime. That'll be something new for my children too. So it should be a really good weekend. So we've got packed now and I thought I'd pop on here and say hi before we do head off on our journey. And then I'll take you um, with me and hopefully share a bit of our weekend as we go through it. But yeah, I thought I'll pop on now and share what I'm wearing and what Elf's been up to and I've got a couple of other bits to share. So I'll start off with what Elf was up to and yeah, it was another uh, messy one, a bit like yesterday. Um, we woke up this morning, came down, found who's in our living room and he'd set up a big game of The Floor is Lava with some of the other toys. So we have this board game, it's based on a TV show, I think The Floor is Lava, where you have to sort of jump between different coloured um, pads on the floor. And Elf had obviously found the game, got a few other toys roped in, Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig and George Pig were involved, and there was a fish, a squirrel, I'll put it up so you can see everyone. They had a teddy a spinning the wheel to show which colour pad you had to land on. Um, and they got lots of pieces of um, Duplo and Lego out as well. I think Elf must have thought that looked like lava. He obviously wanted to recreate quite an authentic game with the floor is lava there so yeah my children were quite tickled by that they had a good play of the game themselves once they tied a little bit of the Lego and Duplo out of the way so they didn't step on it um so yeah another messy one um Elf obviously has been yeah going through our games so who knows what he'll do tomorrow I don't know whether he's going to be joining us in Bournemouth or not we'll have to yeah keep our fingers crossed he does make an appearance tomorrow morning at the hotel we shall see but that is what he was up to then in terms of what I'm wearing today, I wanted something quite nice and practical because we'll be travelling and probably quite active today. So I've got on a pair of jeans and a handmade sweatshirt. And this is one of my favourite sweatshirts. I reach for it quite a lot. I made it using this pattern here, which is the Mile End Sweatshirt Pattern by Closet Core. It's definitely one of my top sweatshirt patterns. I've mentioned it quite a few times before. It has a really good size range. I've got the paper pattern, which goes from 0 to 20. But you can also get in PDF the size 14 to 32. And it's just a really nice, relaxed, easy to wear sweatshirt. It's got a few different variations and they're all really cool, but I've only ever made this one at the top, which is quite like a relaxed drop shoulder oversized sweatshirt with a crew neck. It's got these cool seams that kind of wrap around the front slightly, which I think is a really nice feature to it. And then these darts on the sleeves too. I hadn't realised when I bought it, they were actual darts. I just thought they were kind of a little sort of wrinkle in the fabric they were showing there, but they're really cool, the darts actually. I'll show you on this sleeve here. They're a really nice feature and they're fun to sew too. And then yeah, it's got quite a boxy fit. You can make this version here with this sort of pull tie at the front or this slightly different version with this crossover front and a um, hood and a kangaroo pouch. But yeah, I just love this version here. So I've never tried these versions just because I really enjoy making and wearing that version. And the one I'm wearing today is the second one I made. I've made two kind of classic sweatshirts and one crop version. And this one I made using a fleece back sweatshirting fabric by Mind the Maker, which I love. It's super cozy. I'll stand up it so you can see the fleecy inside. It's a really lovely, thick, cozy fleece back sweatshirt. And I got the matching ribbing. I think the colour is called sage green. I could be wrong. I'll make sure I link it down below and put the right colour down below. But I really love this sort of pale green colour. And I think it goes quite well with a pair of blue jeans and when I've made my versions I've always made the size zero which is slightly smaller than my measurements but when I look to the finished garment measurements on this one which are inside the pattern envelope it is designed to be quite oversized and I didn't want it too oversized so I sized down and there's still loads of room in it um, even though I've sized down so it's just a really nice comfy casual one to wear but it keeps me really really cozy too so I'll pop up a picture 
of me wearing that one. I would really recommend this pattern. I love it. Um, I love the little details, especially. You can see those seam lines at the front. You can do some fun top stitch. It's got yoke at the back too. See, just some really nice details that make it a bit of a twist on a classic sort of boxy oversized sweatshirt. So that is what I'm wearing today. Um, the other thing I wanted to share when I was on, because I was saying this morning to my family, oh, I haven't got that much sewing stuff to share today because I've been quite busy over the last couple of days and haven't had a chance to do too much sewing. And then my son reminded me this week, I did finish a couple of garments for him. Um, and he was really keen for me to share them and he wanted to me to take pictures so I could show you um, those garments, which are new things I haven't shared yet. So this week I finished off his pyjamas that he asked me to make, which I talked about in one of my midweek chat videos. So here are his finished pyjamas. They're a sort of winter pyjama and they're in this really, really cool um, cotton jersey with a Where's Wally print on. And um, I've got Wally on the pocket here. It's got, it's got a little patch pocket on the front of the top. So you can see Wally here on a fishing boat. But there are all sorts of different boats in this fabric. Um, I think there are Vikings. Um, there's something sinking. There's all sorts. <laughs> um, so that is the little top I made him. It's got a patch pocket and long sleeves. It's quite nice and comfy in jersey fabric, so perfect for comfy pyjamas. And I made this using the um, ABB Kids Tee, which is a free pattern um, by DIBY Club. I'll link it down below. It's really easy to download it. It comes in a really good children's size range. I think maybe up to age 12 off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, I'll link it down below so you can see all the details. It sews up really nicely. You can make a long sleeve version or a short sleeve version. And I find it perfect for a nice relaxed pyjama top. And there's a slim fit and a regular fit. And I've always made the regular fit because I found with this pattern it is does come up on the fitted side so for something like a PJ top I wanted it to be, to be nice and roomy so I didn't want it too slim fitting and I think I made the age 10 and my son's 9 just to give a bit of growing room and a bit of space for a nice loose fitting pyjama top so that's the top and then and here are the matching pyjama bottoms and they are just a classic um, nice wide leg pyjama bottom with elasticated waist and for these I used another free pattern which is the Walk the Plank Pyjama Bottoms Pattern by Patterns for Pirates, which is a free pattern you can get for children. And there's also a unisex adults version too, which I've also used and is really nice kind of basic pyjama bottom um, pattern too. Um, and it's designed for woven fabrics, but I've made in Jersey for my children a number of times and it works fine. It's really simple and sews up really quickly. The pattern pieces are just one piece for each leg. You don't have an outside um, seam. So you just have to cut out two pieces and then sort of fold over the elastic at the top. So they come together really fast and they're nice and comfy. And I added a little bit of ribbon on the back here just so you can see which way around to wear them. It's just a really nice soft piece I've zigzagged around the edge. And yeah, those are what I made. I've sized down on these because I find this pattern does come up a little bit big. Um, and the first pair I made for my son in his actual size, just there was just loads of excess fabric. So when I kind of tried to gather it in with the elastic, it ended up a bit too bulky around the waist. Um, and this pair I used a slightly narrower piece of elastic just because that's what I had in my stash. Um, I used to be really um, sort of make sure I use the exact right width of elastic for every pattern but more recently I've just found that actually it's easy to be a bit flexible with elastic particularly when you're just turning it over the top here it's not too critical what size it is so I've just been using what I have in my stash on the basis it's great to use what you have rather than buying something new if you've got something that does the job so those are his pyjamas the fabric came from Pound Fabrics which had a really good price on this lovely Wears Wally cotton jersey, which is really nice quality. So I'll link that down below. I think there are a few different Wears Wally prints in stock there. And I'll put up a picture of my son wearing his pyjamas this morning. He's really pleased with them. He's now got um, four pairs of Wears Wally pyjamas, two winter pairs with long sleeves and two summer pairs with short sleeves in different prints. So he is set for pyjamas for a while, which is great. And the other thing that I finished for him this week was a pair of mini Hudson pants by True Bias, which is his favourite joggers pattern. It's pretty much all he wears when he's not at school, these joggers, which is great because I love how he finds them really comfortable and likes to wear them. But he does wear through the knees very fast, so he needed a new pair. I just made him a new pair in um, green French cherry that I had in my stash. It was just left over from another pair I made him. I think I bought a decent amount, knowing that they wouldn't last that long, so I need to make him another pair. So... The pair that had the hole in the knees will now be turned into shorts for summer. And this is his new pair for winter. They're just quite a nice jogger, I think. So they're a bit slim fit. They've got a pocket detail, which he likes. He loves them um, choosing what colour cord to put around his waist. So he's gone for, I think, a navy cord on this pair. And he's wearing those today. So um, I haven't got them here to show you because he's actually in them now. Upset with my husband choosing toys and things he wants to take um, down to Bournemouth. So... 
yeah he was really um happy to pose in those and I'm really pleased I got those both finished because I know vlogmas is quite busy and I've got a few Christmassy projects to make and a few other plans for sewing too so I wanted to make sure I'd done those for him ready for him to enjoy now the weather's getting colder so yeah that's everything I think I've got to share now so I better get off now and we're going to head out um, on our trip so I will yeah bring you along for that and um yeah see you probably in Bournemouth so yeah see you later bye It's five o'clock in the evening now and I'm filming this bit of the video from our hotel room which we've just checked into. So we've had a really nice afternoon with my brother-in-law and his wife. We went to their house, had some lunch there, spent some time with them and then they took us down to their local beach um, which is really lovely. It was really quiet at this time of year and um, I put in some footage so hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. It was quite chilly and windy down there but really relaxing to be down by the waves and the children really enjoyed having a good old run around um, on the sand. It was a nice sandy beach so we had a really nice time with them. Then we came up to our hotel and checked in here and in a moment we're planning to head out again. We're going to walk down to the Bournemouth seafront and there's a Christmas tree wonderland down there and which sounds like a lot of fun. I think there's going to be some lit up Christmas trees and some other stuff going on down there. So I'll try and bring you along um, with me for that and film a bit of that too. So that's our plan next. Um, the room is really quiet at the moment and um, because my husband has just taken the children out on a little mission down to reception. So I thought that'd be a good time to pop on while it's quiet and yeah, check in with you guys. So yeah, in a moment we're going to get all wrapped up and head back out again. We're going to go to this Christmas tree wonderland then we're going to come back here to the hotel room. We're going to hopefully get some food when we're out and bring it back for a little hotel picnic, maybe some sandwiches or something, just like a light dinner. And we'll hopefully watch maybe a Christmas film or catch up on Strictly Come Dancing or something like that. That's the plan. So should be a nice evening. Um, we're going to meet my brother-in-law and his wife again down at the Christmas tree wonderland. So it'll be nice to see a bit more of them because the children really enjoyed spending some time with them too. So... That is our plan, so I'll say goodbye now. I'll try and bring you along um, when we go down to the seafront at Bournemouth, and yeah, I'll catch you again later. See ya, see you later. Bye.
we're back at the hotel room now. It's about seven o'clock in the evening and we had a really nice time at the Christmas light trail. It was quite nice actually because our hotel was close enough for us to be able to walk down and I took a little video showing us of walking down the coastal path towards the Bournemouth Pier where the light trail started. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of our walk down and also the light trail. It was a lot of fun um, going around and we were really lucky with the weather again. Um, two days in a row we haven't had any rain which has been great and it's been a lovely Christmassy start to December actually, two light trails in two days. So yeah, it's really nice and Christmassy now. We managed to pick up a little bit of food in town too, so then we walk back. My children are currently in the bath, you can probably hear them in the background. Just having a little bath to wind down. Then we're going to get them in their pyjamas, and we're going to have a bit of dinner, watch a bit of Strictly Come Dancing from yesterday, and catch up on that. And then we'll probably have a little story and then all go to bed. So a bit of an early night for me and my husband, um, but maybe slightly late night for my children. But yeah, it's been a really nice day, but I'll sign off now and I'll see you again tomorrow. So I'll say goodnight now and yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, it's Sunday now. So it's day four of Vlogmas. And as you can see, I'm now filming back at our house. We've arrived back home from our weekends away in Bournemouth. So yeah, we had a lovely weekend away, but it's really nice to be back home too. It's always nice to come back home, particularly because the weather is very cold out there. So it's nice to get back and get nice and cosy. Um, so we got back about 45 minutes ago. It's yeah, about two o'clock now, should I say. And um, we had a bit of a late lunch. Um, my children are still eating. So while my husband gets some sorted in there, I've already had a bit of soup and warm myself up. So I thought I'd come in here and check in with you guys and share what we got up to this morning in Bournemouth and what I'm wearing and also what Elf got up to because when we woke up this morning in the hotel room we found Elf was there so somehow he managed to make his way down to Bournemouth. We don't know how. My children maybe guessed he might have cycled um, using one of the Sylvanian family bicycles or maybe borrowed a Playmobil uh, motorbike. We, no we can't have walked because we looked up how long it would take to walk from where we are to Bournemouth and he wouldn't be able to get there in time. But yeah he was there and we found him on a little chair in the hotel room and he set up what looked like a little sort of beach picnic. Um, he obviously was looking forward to being by the seaside. I'll pop up a picture so you can see how we found him. He'd actually borrowed one of my tea towels, a seaside tea towel, to use his beach blanket. So he must have borrowed that from my cupboard, which is a bit cheeky. And he bought himself a little suitcase and I'll show you the suitcase close up so you can see what he brought. It's a bit of a memory game for me here now, trying to remember what's in the picture. I think he brought a bucket and spade. So he obviously was looking forward to the beach, a toothbrush, a hairdryer, something to eat. So yeah, he was well stocked, well prepared for the trip. So my children were very pleased he made it. My daughter was quite worried about him being left at home and maybe without any food. Um, we did say there was a toy kitchen with stocks, but she was a bit concerned. So we're glad he made it down. But anyway, we popped him in the suitcase and brought him back. Don't want to take any chances. So he's come back with us now. We're all back here. And we had a really nice morning actually in Bournemouth. Once we'd um, got up and discovered Elf, we went down, had breakfast in the hotel, and then we went on another walk back to the um, beach. So we went down to Bournemouth Pier. Um, yeah, had a little play um, by the sea. My children really enjoyed being there, actually, even though it was quite cold and windy. They really enjoyed having another run around. And then we went up to the arcades, which is open, which is great, and had a little bit of fun in the arcade too. So, so it's a really nice morning. And what I'll do is actually I'll put in some footage now um, of our morning down by the seaside and then um, afterwards I'll share what I'm wearing and our plans for the rest of the day. So yeah, I'll put in that footage and I'll see you again in a moment.
I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of our morning down at the Bournemouth seafront there. We had a really nice time. It was lovely and peaceful and quiet there this morning, which is totally different to yesterday evening when we went around the Christmas tree trail there. The Christmas tree trail is sort of free and open to everyone. So it was really, really busy. It was lovely, but really busy. But this morning was very nice and peaceful and my children really enjoyed having sort of a real run around on the beach. Um, and yeah, it didn't rain again. So we were very lucky that we avoided the rain this weekend and could really enjoy the outdoors while we were down there. So yeah, that was what we're up to this morning. But now I'll share what I'm wearing today. So I wanted something again, fairly comfy and casual, but cozy too. So I've got on two handmade tops. I've got on this handmade jersey top and a handmade cardigan over the top. The jersey top I made using this pattern here. One of my favourites are just a kind of um, sort of easy to wear um, jersey top. It is the Agnes top pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. I've shared this one before. It's quite a simple scoop neck tight fitting jersey top with long sleeves and you can sort of add a couple of embellishments either by adding ruching at the front here or there's also a separate sleeve piece to make this more voluminous ruched sleeve but I really just like this plain version here although I have added the ruching on the front before I've never done the voluminous sleeve but yeah I just like the plain version it's a really easy nice relaxed comfy top to wear it hasn't got the biggest size range this pattern it's one of the um, older Tilly the Buttons pattern so it only goes from a UK 6 up to a UK 20 um, but I know Tilly and the Buttons are extending the size range on some of their older patterns, so maybe they will extend it on the Agnes at some point. It's just a nice, um, fairly straightforward, so the only fiddly bit is getting the neck band to lie flat. And the version I'm wearing today is the long sleeve version, and I'm just wearing it tucked in some jeans, as you can see. And I made it in this really pretty cotton jersey fabric. I got this from an online fabric shop that has unfortunately since closed down, but I just really like this fabric. I like the kind of sort of blue colour and the cute little sort of ditzy white flowers on it. And I think it goes quite nicely with a pair of blue jeans, quite a relaxed casual top. I think I make the size two of the Agnes, um, which is designed for bust 32, waist 26, hips 35. I'm 32, 26, 36, but um, this the fabric I choose to make these in is always quite stretchy. So I've never bothered graded out at the hips and it kind of just stretches over my hips okay. So yeah, I just make the straight size two. And then the cardigan I'm wearing is another Tilly and the Buttons pattern, actually. It's a slightly newer one. It's from their most recent book, which is the Make It Simple book, um, which has got a load of different easy, speedy sewing projects in it. I've made a few of them, and I really like the Bertha cardigan, actually. Um, I'll show you the line drawings, because that shows kind of the details of it here. It's quite a relaxed, fit, cropped cardigan um, with a raglan sleeve, and it's got this a bat wing sleeve and then quite a tight cuff. But it's designed to be quite slouchy and easy to wear. You don't sew button holes at the front, it's designed to just be worn open. It sews together really nicely. It takes a bit of fabric because of the bat wing. There's quite a like, sort of, lot of fabric in the sleeve. But it does sew up really nicely and it's quite a nice, relaxed, easy one to wear, sort of thrown over a top. And I guess because it's got this extra volume here, even if you made the sort of ruched Agnes sleeve, it would go quite nicely over there because it's not too tight fitting around the top of your arm. And I've only made a couple of versions of this cardigan. This is my favourite one I've made. I made it in this fabric, which is a Minor Maker organic wicker knit fabric. So it's got this really cute kind of um, sort of crisscrossy texture on it. It's made with 100% cotton, but it has got a good stretch to it still. It's not maybe that the stretch is a cotton jersey, but it has still got some stretch. Um, and yeah, it's got these nice snug cuffs, which are cosy. I think you can actually um, make a ver there's an, there's a sort of an add-on version in the, in the pack book to uh, make a uh, blah, can't get my words out <laughs> to make a cuff with a little hole in so you could put your thumb through to make it even more cozy so you can pull it up over your hands but I've just made the plain straight bertha top I think this fabric is still available quite a few places online it's really nice fabric it's quite pricey but it's got, it comes in a really wide width I can't remember how wide it is but it's definitely wider than your average fabric so I'll link it down below if I can find it in, in this colourway somewhere online. But yeah, it's really nice and quite cosy for a cardigan. And I took a picture this morning in the hotel room of what I was wearing. Um, it's not as such a good quality picture because the hotel room lighting was a little bit more sort of subdued. Um, but I'll pop a picture up so you can see what it looks like on. Yeah, I just had it on with my jeans and my trusty Dr. Martin boots, which are furry on the inside. So they're really nice for keeping cosy in cold weather. And they were good for the beach when a couple of times the waves got up to them. They're fairly waterproof too, so I didn't end up with wet feet. <laughs> my children had their trainers on on the first day at the beach and then definitely decided to change to wellies um, today, having got slightly wet toes when the waves got a bit closer than they're expecting. So yeah that's what I'm wearing today just nice and relaxed and cozy I don't get this cardigan out very much but I should wear it more often because it being navy it goes with lots of things and it's really nice and relaxed and slouchy and yeah comfy to wear 
yes that's what I'm wearing anyway um so this afternoon our plans are once my children have finished up eating we are going to go and get the Christmas tree down from the loft and um, put all our decorations up which will be a lot of fun and we were thinking of maybe leaving it till next weekend because we've had such a busy weekend but they were really keen to get it up and it will be nice to get the house feeling really Christmassy so it will be nice to do it this afternoon we'll get a bit of Christmas music playing so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off this video here so I can get it all edited and um, put up on the my channel not too late and then I'll include um, some more of our Christmas decorations um, chats and show you a bit of those tomorrow in my day five vlogmas video. So I'll finish off here. So I hope you've enjoyed hearing all about our weekends away in Bournemouth and seeing kind of the Christmassy bits. I love that even the arcade was decorated for Christmas. I'm definitely starting to get into the Christmassy spirit now. So I hope you are too. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please do um, leave a like for this video. And um, yeah, I'll see you again for day five tomorrow. I'm sure Vlogmas is going to go really fast, but I'm enjoying it so far. So I hope you are too. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for day five. Bye.